Hello, Paul here from Act Now Solar. How are you? Just in Melbourne today, showing you one of our two kilowatt solar systems we've installed here. This system here is made up of 11 190 watt Nestle panels to make about 2.1 kilowatts, just on average. This one here is a, a tile roof house. The tile hooks are um, stainless steel. You can just see one up under that ridge over there. They are stainless steel um, and they're quite unique as well. We don't actually have to drill through the tiles to f fix them into the rafters. They'll go up and under and around the tile. We'll grow on the tile, the top tile flat just to make them sit a little bit more flush. And as you can see, they are up there quite strong mounted to those tiles. I'll flip you through to the, to the inverter. And we can have a look at how much solar this is producing. This system is in Melbourne. It's a beautiful sunny day. Um, probably not going to get too much better days for this for producing solar. Now the inverter we've mounted over with the switchboard. Um, two reasons for it. You want to have your inverter nice and close to the switchboard so you're not running large distance of cables where you can get um, cable losses and voltage losses. We've installed a 2 kilowatt. 2 kilowatt sunny roof inverter here. They are outdoor um, and again it's on this easterly roof. Um, any inverter once they do get warm their efficiency will drop off by putting it on the east side. It'll just mean that um, it'll run a bit more efficient and as you can see this system right at the moment is pumping out 1.85 kilowatts so every hour it's producing a minimum of about 35-40 cents in, in, in um, power putting out 340 volts DC at the moment um, which this inverter is obviously converting into AC so you can run it in your house. Here's some DC supply, I'm um, sorry, DC circuit breakers um, in Queensland when the floods were on what people were finding is that solar system, the power was out to their home but their solar system was still producing power and sending it down the wall so this basically means you can switch the solar system off um, in case of floods or anything like that. Not that we'll get floods in this spot in Melbourne anyway. We've put some AC protection in as well. This is so you can turn the inverter on and off. This system was installed a couple of months ago so they've actually got their smart meter already installed. And it's really hard to see unfortunately but there is a little arrow on it flicking around. There's an arrow on it which is pointing backwards. There you go, you can just see it flicking there. Now that means the system is producing power and sending it backwards. They've produced since the system's been installed. Oh, sorry, they've... Since the system's been installed, bear with me, they have used 10, uh, 1,098 kilowatts and they've produced 807 kilowatts. Now that's pretty fantastic considering the 807 kilowatts they've produced, they've actually sold for 66 cents. And the 1,898 watts, they're only purchasing 22 cents for that power. So they'll be getting a great return from this solar system. Um, and no doubt won't be costing them a cent to operate. Thanks again. Enjoy your day. View more of my videos, please.